friends, it's Kate, and welcome back to my channel, Golden State Educate. I'm super excited because I finally get to film another classroom haul video. I really only filmed like two of these over the summer, and then there was no reason to do like a big classroom haul because we were distance learning the whole year. But if you haven't already gotten caught up with my channel, make sure you go check out my last video. There is a big announcement. I'm so excited. We are finally going hybrid. So it is March right now, and we are getting ready to go hybrid in the next six days. It is Friday, so in this next upcoming week, my kiddos are going to be here. So I've done a big old haul of everything that I need to get in order to make this classroom prepped and ready to go. Um, sorry that I'm filming like kind of in this awkward corner in this weird angle. Um, I am at school right now and everyone is here at school prepping their classrooms. So this is kind of like my little hidden area. So if anyone walks by, they won't see me doing this. So yes, I'm super excited. I made an Amazon wish list actually and sent it to the parents of my students just because there's a lot of things that I didn't have in terms of like kid masks and um, disinfectant and PPE type stuff. Our school will be providing a good bit of that for us, but I thought it'd be nice to just have like my extra little stockpile in my classroom in case anyone needs anything. Um, a lot of the other stuff was just bought by me because it's stuff that I wanted um, and I've had a few Amazon gift cards saved up like just for my classroom so I knew that when the time came I would be able to buy several things for my classroom. So with that being said if you aren't already make sure to hit the red button down below and subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you like this and leave me a comment down below what you're doing if you're hybrid if you're still distance learning if you are fully in person I would love to know. Coming up, I'm gonna have a lot of really fun and exciting videos. After this one, I'm gonna have another classroom setup, which I'll be filming directly after this one. I'm gonna be here all day, the next several days, just prepping and setting up my classroom for my 16 little friends. So make sure to subscribe if you're interested in seeing that. I'm also going to be filming the first day of school vlog and the first full week of school weekly vlog. So if you've been around for a while, thank you for being here. Thank you for sticking through everything of distance learning and the whole journey that I've been on so far, but we are spicing it up, we're changing it up, and my kiddos are coming. So I can't wait to finally experience the feelings of being a first year teacher. I can't wait to finally have my kiddos in this class. Um, but now I just have a big, big job of making sure it's all set up for them. So here we go. I have so many things, mostly from Amazon a couple of things from Michaels and then a couple just this last month I also did a huge haul from um, thriftbooks.com or thriftbooks.org um, I think it's thriftbooks.com so I'll have mostly classroom stuff and then a f some books to show you as well all right so I guess I'll just start out with Michaels the first few things that I got from Michaels are this scrapbook paper so if you've already seen I have my brightest work over there on the other wall if you've been here or if you follow me on Instagram or if you've been here for my vlogs you've seen it um, but I was checking out my co-workers classroom the other day and it seems like most people have actually like scrapbook squares so that way when you put the art on it you can still see the square um, I just have like eight and a half by eleven regular paper size papers up there so I'm I'm thinking they might get covered up. I don't know. I bought these to see if I like that look better. If I don't, I'll just return them or just keep them. They're only 50 cents. I also have a teacher discount at Michael's, so that's 15%, and they were 20% off already, so I just got a huge deal on these. So I'm gonna check this out, see if I wanna set this up instead of what I have right now, um, but I thought it'd be good to have. Um, I also just have this one big book bucket that I'm going to put on top of my library and this will probably be like our book quarantine or like our books of the week or highlight books. Um, I'm not sure yet but I know that I'm going to need this so I got this from Michaels. And then I also got these three individual lap desks. I actually need like three or four more, so I'm still on the hunt. Also, I feel like this video, there's probably going to be like two parts of this haul. Um, in the same video, but I might film part of it today and then part of it tomorrow because a lot of uh, there are several things that are still coming to my house from Amazon that haven't gotten delivered yet. So I might film part of it today, part of it tomorrow, and then smash it together into just one giant haul. But I have three of these blue ones right now, um, and all, all the other ones that they had left at my Michaels were like purple or pink, and I'm just kind of trying to go with like gender neutral so that way this year and in future years no one like fights over the lap desks so if i could find like three or four more blue ones or three or four black ones um that'd be great so i got these ones and then i thought it'd be really nice because if we do guided reading or if we go outside um kiddos will be able to have like their own kind of lap desk guided reading or math and then they can put like um their manipulatives and stuff in the side so i thought this was good 
And then the last thing that I got from Michaels is this 10 drawer cart organizer. I haven't taken it out. I haven't built it yet, but here it is. I just got the white one. Um, I figure this will match whatever classroom I ever have in the future. So in my teacher heart, I really wanted the rainbow one, but the more that I thought about it, like if I ever change my class classroom theme, that won't work. Um, so I can just get the clear one or the white one and then change um, like the little front uh, like stickers of what I have in there or little labels. So I also got that. I guess I'll just jump into all the Amazon stuff. Um, a lot of it is an unboxing, so I don't really know what's in what box, but I will just show you what I got. All right, so in this box, I got a bunch of these um, like cardboard black and white magazine holders. In a perfect world, I would have just gotten the plastic ones, but we only have like 10 or 11 weeks left of school. I know that these won't really hold up, but they're the cheapest option. So I'm just gonna keep these for right now, just kind of use them as a one and done, and then next year I'll kind of like reevaluate if I wanna use these still, if they're still in good shape, or if I just wanna bite the bullet and like spend more money to get the nicer plastic ones. So I got black and white, and I got several packs of those. So I have about 18 all together and then I have 16 students coming. So that is perfect. I also got two packs of these blue folders, um, just like manila folders. These are gonna be like our Friday take home folders at the end of the week. So um, our school color is blue. So I thought blue folders were perfect. So they will have these. Going on with the folder thing, I got these two packs of plastic folders um, with a little button clasp on the front. They're going to come and clean every single night and just like spray it with stuff. And I've heard that the stuff that they spray um, like kind of crinkles up the paper. So I'm just gonna have them put all of their papers in here at the end of the day. So they're just kind of like protected from anything that might happen when it gets deep cleaned at night. I also got a black pocket chart for my schedule. I have the same one for my calendar, so I thought this would be good to just put our schedule cards in. I will still have some kids um, doing fully distance learning, so they won't get to see the schedule. They see it in the morning, but the kids in person will at least be able to see what we're doing every day. All right, and here I also have some tap lights. I'm super jazzed about this. I've always wanted to have like the voice level tap lights. So we're just gonna have zero, one, um, and then two, and then three. So I got four all together and I'm just really excited to set this up. This looks so cute. Um, and I think this will be a really good visual for my students to have. Last thing in this big box is just a bunch of these multicolor page protectors or um, dry erase sleeves. Uh, this I think will just be really good for distance learning. I can put multiple different math centers or ELA centers in here for our learning targets, learning objectives in here. So I think I have like 38 of these. This is a big pack. Um, but this will be great because I can easily wipe them down and sanitize them and I won't be wasting as much paper um, because they can reuse the paper that's inside of it. So I thought these would be perfect and I didn't have any of those already. So there's that. So we just got a 20 pack of individual Play-Doh that are in here. I want to use these for activities. If they all have their own Play-Doh, they can do different word work. So spelling our spelling words or doing our sight word practice with the um, Play-Doh. And then also for Friday Free Choice, if they want to just play with their Play-Doh, they can do that too. Um, but everyone will have their own color. Um, and then I'll probably just, once they pick their color, I'll probably just label the top so they know that it's theirs and they can keep that with the rest of their stuff. Oh, excellent. Okay, so in here I just have a pack of kids scissors. This is a pack of 12. I believe I put two of these on two of these on my Amazon wish list. So um, I'm not sure if someone else bought the other pack, but I have 12 of these so far. Oh, I also got. I also did go ahead and get some of the plastic ones, so that way I can organize my library. So all of these are just going to be in my um, in my library, holding the books. This comes in a pack of six. So depending on what the setup looks like, I might need to grab some more, but I just wanted to start off with six. I have so many library books. I can't set up my full library um, in like the capacity that I would ideally want it to be set up, but I can set up some of it as long as it's kind of like in the front of my classroom in the little teacher area, and then I can pick the books for the kids. So I at least want us to have some kind of library. So six might be good, but I might need to get another pack of six depending on how many I can fit on the bookshelf. Which brings me to the bookshelf. Um, I'll have to put in like a B-roll clip of it all built because it's still in this um, 
you know, it's still not built. Um, but I just got one of those white, uh, you can get them at Target, you can get them at Walmart. I just got it from Amazon, but just one of those white um, bookshelves, just like three tiers. So that will be like my little makeshift library. And I think that will look, work out really well. Um, ideally, I'd probably need like two of them. But like I said, since I'm not setting up my whole library, I'm just going to start off with one. And then if I need to get another one next year, I can do that. Oh, in here, I just got an arm for my um, iPad. The iPad is basically how the kids at home are going to see the kids at school. So you'll see this when I set it up in the setup video, but I'm just going to clip this arm onto my desk. Um, and that way the kids at school can just be pointing out or the kids at home can just be pointing out to see the kids at school. Um, I haven't really found another use for my iPad just yet. So this arm will be perfect um, to just kind of navigate and hold my iPad out to the rest of the class. Ooh, these things are kind of boring, but I'm very excited about them. Um, I just got my own paper cutter. I spent so much time cutting stuff out in my first two classroom setup videos and um, like with scissors, old school. So this will be great. I can just whoop, 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 um, cut them, <laughs> cut all the things that I need to make. So this will be great. And I think this was only like $18. So really good way to spend my money and save my time. I also just got more laminating sheets. And then I got these little Velcro sticky dots so that way I can Velcro so many things. I'm going to Velcro my word wall to the wall, words on the word wall to the wall. I'm going to Velcro the kids' names tags to their desk. I'm probably going to Velcro our alphabet letters up there because they've been falling off. So this will be great. Super boring box, but I'm very excited about that box. The next thing I got is a pencil sharpener, my very first grown up teacher pencil sharpener. This sucker is like $30, but I've heard that this is like the best one and it lasts the longest. So this is my pencil sharpener. The kids are not touching this, um, but I am very excited to have this. Also got batteries for the tap lights. And I got these smelly stickers, this pack of 48 sheets. I think there's like 260 stickers in here but they're the scratch and sniff like smelly stickers so I thought this would be a good incentive for my kiddos oh I had no idea what this one was it is um just file folders so that way I can organize all of their data or all of their take homework or when they're done they can just put their stuff in their file folder um, and then I can just go through and check it off so I forgot that I got these that's that this is a disaster but that's fine the last few things I'm going to show you are just some books, so I'll just go through them really quickly and then I'll have them linked down below if you're interested in checking them out. A lot of these books are just books that I've been wanting for my classroom and then also kind of going with like the spring theme like March, April, May. So we'll be reading a lot of these books over the course of the next couple of months. So the first one I got is The Worrysaurus. I also got Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. We're also about to start doing our narrative writing. So a lot of these books are perfect just for showing the kids narrative writing. And then I, like I said, I got all of these books from thriftbooks.com. So that's just a great place to get used books at a discounted price. I also got Listen to My Trumpet, Elephant and Piggy. I'm sad about this one though. It's like pretty much written over like the whole book and there's like a lot of like pages that are kind of ruined and the front is a little bit messed up. So we'll see. It was only like $2, so that's not terrible, but um, I'm kind of bummed about that one. Um, and then I also got Elephant and Piggy, I Am a Frog. This one is so stinking cute. Uh, and this one is totally fine. So also $2 and this one was great. And then $2 and this one wasn't. So just kind of, you never know what you're going to get. I also got Nuffle Bunny. This is so perfect for kindergarten and also just for, um, it's really primary age appropriate. So I'm excited to read this one to them. I also got Ralph Tells a Story. Again, just going with the narrative writing unit. Um, roller Coaster. I had typed in like best books for narrative writing and this one came up, so I grabbed it. It's not in very good condition though. It's also kind of like ripped and torn up, at least the outside cover. So this was only a few dollars, so I thought I would check it out, but I have not read it before. So we'll have to see how that one is. Got the sandwich swap. This is good for spring. It's called Spring is Here. Um, and we can see that there's like a little snoring bear. So we can probably talk about hibernation for this one. I got Stick and Stone. So stinking cute. SEL all about friendship. 
I got Lily's purple plastic purse and this is because of Melissa over at Made for Second Grade. She's talked about this book several times. I think this is like one of her favorite books or at least one of her favorite Kevin Hinkey's books. So I picked this up. Thanks for that girl. I also got a bad case of the stripes. I remember reading this um, when I was in elementary school and when I saw this pop up in the list of suggestions, I thought I would add it to my cart. I also got Spring for Sophie, Me and Jean the Recess Queen, Interrupting Chicken, which now that we're coming back to school, we are definitely going to be reading this book. I also got Planting a Rainbow, perfect for April, May, perfect for spring. How to Catch a Leprechaun, which we will be reading next week because right now it is March 12th, so we have St. Patrick's Day is coming up this week. I also got Giraffes Can't Dance, one of my all-time favorites, and this book is super special. This was the first book that I read for an observation when I was doing student teaching, so love this one. I also got There Was a Cold Lady Who Swallowed Some Snow. I also got Jabari Jumps. This was a favorite, um, How to Wash a Woolly Mammoth. We did this for our how-to writing unit. This was super cute. Um, and then I also just got the beautiful oops. So this is a super fun book. There's so many different things talking about how turning a mistake into something beautiful. So I thought this would be perfect for my kindergartners. Hey everyone, so it's the next day now, it's Saturday, and I got a bunch of packages last night again because I knew that I was getting some stuff still. So this is the second part of this haul. I already opened everything, so it's not like an unboxing. I'm just gonna show you everything else that I got. Um, and then I'm pretty much set. I have almost everything that I need, I think, at this point, and some things that I just wanted that I don't super need, but that's okay. Um, so I think I have everything that I need. I'm still setting up my classroom. I was here all day yesterday on Friday, and then I'm here today on Saturday, mostly just to drop everything off and then film the second half of this haul. So by the time you're seeing this, I think I'm gonna try to post this as soon as possible. So they're coming very soon and I'm super excited. Um, so I already talked so much in the first one, I'm just gonna get started and show you everything else that I got. So the next few things that I got are mostly just like classroom supplies and things that I'll need. So the next thing I got is I asked on my Amazon wish list for uh, several packs of crayons. So I put on the 24, just the 24 pack of crayons. So this is six of those 24 packs and then another six of those 24 packs and then another six of those 24 packs. So I have 18 all together, which is perfect. I have 16 kiddos coming. Um, so I have enough for everyone to get a brand new box of crayons. The ones that I gave them at the beginning of the year are, you know, the fact that those kiddos have been using one pack of crayons for the whole year during distance learning at home is just tragic. So I'm excited to give them a new pack when they come. I also bought two packs of kid jump ropes. So I found out, it's kind of funny because like they're not allowed to share pencils um, in the classroom, but like they can share playing equipment outside. I don't really get that, but whatever. I got two packs of these little jump ropes. So I have 24 jump ropes all together, which is perfect. Um, I also asked for these little sit spots. We can't do too much carpet sitting like we normally do, but I can set up some sit spots over here in my little guided reading area. So that way we can do like socially distanced guided reading. Um, and then I'll also probably put some sit spots like underneath their desk so they know like not to move it from those areas. Um, and then I might even do like a line down the center so that way if they line up, they can line up on their spot. So these are great, just a value mixed pack of colors. Um, so this looks really good. And then the last thing in this box is just a 12 pack of Purell hand sanitizer with the pump. Um, I have a feeling we're gonna go through this really quickly. Even though my school has already ordered like a bunch of PPE and hand sanitizer, I thought it'd be good to just have like my own stockpile in my classroom. So that way if we need it, we'll never run out. Um, so I know that in COVID land, in COVID times, this will be super, super necessary. Kind of going off of that, the next few things are three packs of Clorox wipes. So I have three packs in here three packs in here so six packs of Clorox wipes the kiddos can't use the Clorox wipes but I can um, and I'm gonna be wiping down their desks at snack I'm gonna be wiping down their desks at recess and at lunch and at the end of the day um, so I'm gonna go through those so quickly and I'm super super glad to have a ton of those 
And then I also asked for this two pack of like charging port things. Um, I'm kind of rethinking this now because we kind of changed what we were going to do. The kids are gonna have their own Chromebook here at school. And then they're also gonna have their own Chromebook at home. We were thinking that they were just going to take it back and forth every day. So I was concerned that the Chromebook would die at school. Um, so I got this pack or I asked for this pack of, um, I guess it's like a surge protector. It has six outlets in it. So I thought this would work. Um, but if they have their own at school, I'll just be able to make sure that is charged at the beginning of the day. I don't know. We'll see if we use these. If not, that's cool that I still have them. But I bought these or I asked for these on my wish list with one thing in mind and then it's kind of like changed, but that's okay. At least I have it. More Clorox wipes. So <laughs> I have two three more packs so nine packs of wipes all together and whatever i don't use i'll be able to use next year or i can even give to my co-workers if they don't have enough so sharing is caring um and then i also got this little play set it's kind of funny because i thought it was going to be a lot bigger um i'm just kind of thinking of things to for kids to play with because we're rotating the playground so one class gets it every day so the other days that my students are outside they can't play on the playground so i'm just kind of thinking of things that we can play with um so like jump ropes balls and i thought this would be kind of cool it's like throwing the ring um throwing the ring onto like the stick i can't i'm blanking on what it's called what is this called like horseshoes, but not horseshoes because it's a ring. Anyways, I thought that this would be a little bit better than it is. It kind of looks like it's for like really little kids. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I thought it could be kind of fun. It was only like $10. So something for them to do. And then I also have a little pack of kids masks. I think this comes with 100 masks. Um, so this is 100 kid masks and I got two of these. So this is just good to have on our little sanitation station, sanitization station. I think this will be really good. Kiddos have to wear masks all day. So if they bring their own mask or if they forget a mask or if something happens, I think it's going to be good to have some backup. And then oh, I'm so happy as someone's parent bought this. This is the 120 pack oh my god yes the 120 pack of chalk this is going to be great because um there's two days a week that we have blacktop um and then we'll, like i said one day a week we have the playground two days a week we have the field and then two days a week we have the blacktop so blacktop days this is going to be great um so i'm going to make them little individual baggies of chalk and then I also got, I bought myself, I bought myself a doorbell. I'm super excited about this. I always kind of thought this was silly, um, like the whole doorbell thing. Uh, and I, when I was a substitute back before I got my teaching credential when I was subbing, there was a teacher that had this doorbell and I just thought it was like the most fun thing ever, but I couldn't really see myself using one. Um, but now with COVID and with teaching with a mask, I'm not gonna be doing a bunch of call and responses like one, two, three, eyes on me because I'm gonna be muffled, so I'm gonna have to say that so many times. Um, so I caved, I bought the doorbell, and I'm excited to set this up, and then I'll probably just put it on my lanyard. So, got a doorbell. Oh, these are just some little like streamer decorations for my front board. So if you watch my next classroom setup video, you'll see what I'm doing with those. I also just got a pack of dry erase pens. So there's 36 in here, so hopefully this lasts a good bit. Um, and yeah, we use our whiteboards a lot, so I think this will be good to have on hand. I also got two more sets of the scissors. I think I might have put one too many sets because I only needed two sets, but I have three sets. So I might need to donate one of these to my coworkers or I'll just keep it for next year. I don't know, whatever. So I have lots of scissors, but that's kind of cool because at the beginning of the year, I bought scissors to give to my students. So now like I'm just kind of reimbursing myself with the scissors. And then I got one, two, three packs of glue. Again, I like to keep my own stockpile. We have like a shared thing for the whole school in our storage closet, but I like to have my own just in case. So the next thing are just little individual pencil boxes. I just got all clear ones so that way no one fights over the color. Um, and these are pretty, pretty sturdy. These are the Iris brand. So I think these will last a good long time. Um, and I'm just going to number them so that way I can use them for many years to come. So I got two packs, 10 in here, and then I also have 10 in here. So that is perfect. 
And then the last couple things that I got from Amazon, this is just another utility cart. So it's like one of those like five tier organizer things um, that everyone gets from Michaels. I just put one of these one. I just put one of these from Amazon on my wish list. So I'm super happy that I got this. Um, I have a black one already that I'm going to use for like our hand sanitizer like hand sanitation stuff and then this one is going to be to organize like all of the recess equipment so we just have to like roll it out and then roll it back in with all the stuff on it so i think this will be perfect for that so the last thing i got just kind of going again with the theme of like what we're gonna do when we're not on the playground i got i don't know <laughs> I don't know if they'll like this. I don't know if this will be a hot mess. These are actually really big, um, but I thought this would be kind of fun on the field. I think this came with like, I don't even know, this came with a lot. This came with like 10 of these things, I think. And it's funny because I thought that it was like a value pack of different colors, but they're all yellow and yellow is my favorite color. So I'm thrilled about that. Um, so we'll see, again, this could also just be really funny, like watch, watching a bunch of five-year-olds try to do this on the field. So there's that. And then I went to Michael's and Ace Hardware yesterday when I was done with my classroom and I got a few more things. So in the first part of this haul, I was talking about how I needed a few more um, lap desks. So now I have three blue ones and three green ones. Um, so this will be perfect for my small groups. And then I got a few packs of these little, um, just little containers. And I think I'm going to put those mini erasers in here. So I can have this as like a math center. So counting the erasers or grouping them or something. They were a dollar each for uh, three packs. So I thought this was cool. I might use it. And then the last thing that I got was a teacher toolbox. I'm so excited. I've wanted a teacher toolbox forever. Um, and I know that this is like what people get in the summer and they set it up in the summer, but um, it's March and I'm doing it now. So I'm gonna need a place to put all my little teacher stuff, like my highlighters and my pens and my like thumbtacks and all the stickers and all the things. So I'm really excited about this. I might spray paint it if I have enough time, but I'm definitely gonna get like the little, um, little labels inside of it that everyone has. So really excited about this. I think it was only like $25. This is perfect because it has nine of the bigger drawers. I've seen so many that just have the tiny drawers, but I feel like I need the bigger ones for like sticky notes and whatnot. Um, so yeah, last thing I got, really excited. I'm super concerned that this haul is like really, really long. So I'm probably gonna have to edit it down, but I love hauls, especially classroom hauls, and I hope you do too. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, as I've said already, if you aren't already, make sure to hit the red button down below and subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you like this. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you think there's anything else that I need to be prepared for hybrid. If there's anything that you have that you love that you've been using during hybrid, let me know. I would love to purchase that. Um, and yeah, I have a lot of fun videos coming up, a couple more setup videos, and then our transition to hybrid. So I can tell you how that goes, how my kiddos are doing, and I'm just really, really excited to finish off the rest of the year in person. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.